We're reading the epilogue to the workbook from A Course in Miracles. Epilogue. This course is a beginning, not an end. Your friend goes with you. You are not alone. No one who calls on him can call in vain. Whatever troubles you, be certain that he has the answer and will gladly give it to you if you simply turn to him and ask it of him. He will not withhold all answers that you need for anything that seems to trouble you. He knows the way to solve all problems and resolve all doubts. His certainty is yours. You need but ask it of him and it will be given you. You are as certain of arriving home as is the pathway of the sun laid down before it rises, after it has set, and in the half-lit hours in between. Indeed, your pathway is more certain still. For it cannot be possible to change the course of those whom God has called to him. Therefore, obey your will, and follow him whom you accepted as your voice, to speak of what you really want and really need. His is the voice for God and also yours. And thus he speaks of freedom and of truth. No more specific lessons are assigned for there is no more need of them. Henceforth, hear but the voice for God and for yourself when you retire from the world to seek reality instead. He will direct your efforts, telling you exactly what to do, how to direct your mind, and when to come to him in silence, asking for his sure direction and his certain word. His is the word that God has given you. His is the word you chose to be your own. And now I place you in his hands to be his faithful follower, with him as guide, through every difficulty and all pain that you may think is real. Nor will he give you pleasures that will pass away, for he gives only the eternal and the good. Let him prepare you further. He has earned your trust by speaking daily to you of your father and your brother and yourself. He will continue. Now you walk with him, as certain as is he of where you go, as sure as he of how you should proceed, as confident as he is of the goal, and of your safe arrival in the end. The end is certain, and the means as well. To this we say, Amen. You will be told exactly what God wills for you each time there is a choice to make and he will speak for God and for yourself, thus making sure that hell will claim you not, and that each choice you make brings heaven nearer to your reach. And so we walk with him from this time on, and turn to him for guidance and for peace and sure direction. Joy attends our way. For we go homeward to an open door which God has held unclosed to welcome us. We trust our ways to him and say amen. In peace we will continue in his way and trust all things to him. In confidence we wait his answers as we ask his will in everything we do. He loves God's son as we would love him and he teaches us how to behold him through his eyes and love him as he does. You do not walk alone. God's angels hover near and all about. His love surrounds you, and of this be sure, that I will never leave you comfortless. That's the epilogue to the workbook from A Course in Miracles. Namaste.